near to the Royal Ontario Museum, demonstrating for the Prime Minister to step down because all the money is sent to Ukraine to fight war and Canadians have nowhere to live. But they switch the blame to say it's international students that comes in, put this drought and Canada housing crisis that Canadians have nowhere to live. But I want to ask this question. Canada want three million persons in, in every three years. They want three million persons. What was the plan for those persons to live? I understand that some culture, 600 persons can stay in one room. Not Jamaican, we don't do that. But that has its limit as well. What was the plan for the 3 million persons that they want to come in here to live? That is, that is just one question I would want to ask. Nowhere in Canada to live. And the government allow landlord to run the housing market with minimum wage, yeah, fifteen dollars per hour, and one bedroom is for two thousand five hundred dollars. I don't do maths. I study psychology. I don't know maths, but to me, that calculation does not add up. How can fifteen dollars per hour pay? Two thousand five per month for one bedroom for a family, and that is why Canada birth rate is so low because they have nowhere, no nursery for the children to go, nowhere for family to live, and Canada has hit crisis. It's a crisis proportion here. <sighs> Maybe somebody can answer me because if you are planning, when I was planning on having children. I ensure I have three children and I provide three bedrooms for the three children. Because if I am going to have a family, I must have somewhere for them to live. I saw some person.